I've got a couple of things today that were given to me free of charge by icstation.com. So they're on a um, traffic light theme. So here we've got a couple of these LED traffic lights, which I'm going to look at in detail in a moment. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you might have seen back in January, I, I made something like this out of a few scrap LEDs and, and connected it to the to the micro bit. So um, we'll have a look at these and, and maybe we'll connect these to the micro bit as well. So we'll look at that. Um, the other thing is this board here, which is quite interesting. It's got, uh, so you see, you've got a printed circuit board. It's got three 555 uh, timer chip ICs on it and a 4011, I think, which is a quad, quad NAND gate. Um, and and here you put the all the LEDs down on the end of the board here, so it's so it's like a junction, um, like a crossroads with traffic lights that you can build. So this one I'm going to build up another another day, but I think this could be quite interesting because there's I, as far as I can see there's no circuit diagram available for this. But what what I'd like to do is build it up stage by stage and get the logic probe on it and and actually figure out how this works and um, and create a circuit circuit diagram so we'll look at that on a different day so today we're going to look at these um, lead traffic lights so if I take one of these out of the bag so. actually this message here is quite funny so it says static sensitive devices not to be handled by unauthorized personnel. So um, I'm going to have to authorize myself to open one of these. Oh, I actually haven't authorized that enough. Let's do that again. So this is basically what it is. We've got a printed circuit board. It's got these big five millimetre LEDs. I think the, the one that I built back in January was using three mil LEDs. So this is really nice. I, and actually looking at the listing on IC Station, I didn't realise that these LEDs were so big, but um, this is quite nice, feels quite nice. Um, so we've got all of the connections on this uh, header here so that you can connect DuPont cables and I can see some little surface mount resistors in there so let's look at these with the magnifying glass see if we've got any obvious values written on them all right so the top one says 221 next one says 472 and the last one is zero, so that's just a link. Okay. So perhaps I ought to draw a little circuit diagram before we start. Well, here's what I've discovered. Um, so if we do the circuit diagram, we've got three resistors, or um, this one's a zero ohm link, but it's a, another surface mount. Um, package so these three resistors are all tied together to ground and you've got the red amber green leds which then break out onto these three pins on the bottom so um, these values are a bit strange actually because the one on the red 220 that's a reasonable value of resistance um, for a current limiting resistor for a lead um, 4.7k is totally wrong and um, zero is not good either because you don't really want to run a lead without a current limiting resistor so I can only imagine that these are factory mistakes and maybe the reason that these modules are so cheap is because they've been 
manufactured wrong. So, um, but let me try lighting the LEDs. So we have a 3 volt, 5 volt power supply here. I've set it up for 3 volts and we'll just test what the LEDs look like. So first of all, let me do the the red, which seems to be the one that's properly set up. So 3 volts into the red LED, that lights quite well, that's nice. Um, the yellow or amber, you can see there's just a, just a tiny glow in there, so that 4.7k resistor is really totally wrongly specified. Now I don't want to plug the 3 volts directly into the green LED because it might blow up, so let me just put in an extra resistor in here. For the green. That's a 47 ohm resistor. And that gives that gives an okay level of brightness. Could probably go a bit lower than that, but that's that's okay. So um, basically I can't use this exactly as it is. What I'm gonna have to do is um, either put a resistor in series with the ground here so that there's some current limiting for all of them or uh, I'm going to have to change out this resistor here zero ohm link here and this one the 4.7k um, I can either take it out or put some put another resistor on top of it so put it in a parallel configuration because if I put a, a 220 across here and that would effectively be the same resistance as the one above, which should should work. Um, if, in fact, I can I can test that, can't I? So there you go. There's the with the 4.7k resistor in place. You just get this glow. But if I put the four, 47 ohms in parallel across it. Little bit fiddly. There you go. So if I put the forty seven ohms in parallel, and I get quite a good level of brightness from that lead. So I'm actually going to have to modify this. I've removed the surface mount components off the bottom there, so the 0 ohm link and the 4700 ohm resistor. And I was looking around, I don't have many, um, many surface mount components in my box. I don't do much surface mount work, but I did find these 101 resistors, that's 100 ohms. So I think I'll I'll put 100 ohms in there. I mean, th there'll be a bit much current flowing. It'll be about 30 milliamps, but I think it should be okay. So I'll, um, I'll just place those in. Right, so I've got the 100 ohm resistors in place now. The soldering's not great, but, uh, but I think I've got electrical contact there. So we'll test it again with these better values of resistor in place. Once again, we're in the breadboard here, uh, running from three volts. I'll just put in the positive lead, and we'll look at red, which was the good one anyway. Still nice and bright. Yellow, amber. That looks much better now, doesn't it? And the green. The green's still a little bit insipid. But I think if I remember right, these need a bigger voltage dropped across them, so uh, you should generally have a lower resistor value. But there you go, that's now functioning. Okay, so um, what I could, could do now is connect it up to the micro bit, because uh, that code that I wrote back in January should work with this device as well. 
I've loaded the code from uh, that last video uh, for driving traffic lights into my micro bit now. Um, I'll I'll put a link to my GitHub site in the uh, comments below uh, if you want to download the code. It's it's there in the public domain. So now what we can do is um, connect it up to the new traffic lights. So I use this extender board so that I can access the pins easily. And we'll connect up this DuPont cable. So we've got ground and I think it was red to zero. Well, we'll find out. Red to zero. We'll do orange to one and green to pin two. We'll connect up the traffic light so brown is ground. Red to red. Uh, amber to amber and green to green. All right. Okay, so nothing's lighting up at the moment. What have I got wrong? Connector's not good. There we go. It's there. So yeah, that works fine with the micro bit. and you get quite pleasing brightness with these big LEDs. Right, what I'd like to do is do a bit of a giveaway. I've never done a giveaway on the on the channel before. And um, so what I'll do is I've got several of these devices. So this is another free one that I got from icstation.com but I've got some more over here so these are I think exactly the same product so I just bought these on eBay from another vendor but they look exactly the same and in fact they, they even have the same um, same product number so I'm wondering if these actually all come from the same factory. I probably do. So I don't know if these also have that defect with the the wrong resistors. But here we go. I'm going to give away these four, and um, I might as well give away that one as well. So I'll I'll give away five of these. So all you need to do to enter is give me a comment down in the comments below, and. In a couple of weeks time I'll do a draw and then the five people that come up in the draw will all get one of these units sent to them free so you can experiment with them and modify them and, and whatever. So thanks very much for watching, do comment below and I'll see you in the next video which will probably be the one with the other IC station uh, circuit board. The, the traffic light circuit board which I'm going to build and reverse engineer. So thanks very much, see you next time.